Hey there guys, welcome back and um, today I'm going to show you how I have made this cute little Easter basket for a swap. Um, I'm going to show you just a basic and you know from there of course you'll get your own ideas and, and learn how to or decide how to uh, embellish it and decorate it yourself. So for this one, um, I'll, I'll show you what I cut when I do the tutorial, but um, I just put a little bit of uh, uh, the fencing right here with some purple, my little butterfly. Of course, you guys know I love that. I made another butterfly, two layers. What The bottom one is um, glitter paper, and then the top, I went ahead and um, ink the edges, put a little um, sticker right there. And you know, I don't, I don't use a whole lot of stickers, but I thought that one was kind of cute. So I went ahead and put him there. I made a little cluster of flowers. Um, let's see. And my partner's name is Lindsay. So I put Happy Easter, Lindsay. And for the handle, and this is the Martha Stewart punch, guys. That's all I did for that. I just punched it out with the Martha Stewart punch. Uh, some bling on the handle, some organ uh, an organza bow made from uh, the organza ribbon at Dollar Tree. Put a little flat back on there. Put some um, some trim at the bottom. These are two different trims, and on the back, of course, I put my little um, you know my signature on there. And yes, yeah, so for this one, guys, I still. I haven't finished it and I have about two inches right here that I need to maybe yeah about two inches worth of bling and of course I ran out I thought I was gonna have enough so I have all I this one's the one from uh, Dollar Tree I've already gone to look for it they don't have it so I'm going to go out of town to look for it when I'm working tonight so that is my basket course you know I still have to fill it up with goodies and um, sorry about that guys let me shut this thing up okay so uh, yeah I'm gonna have to go look for it tonight and I still need to fill it up with goodies and um, we were gonna put I think five different goodies in there so maybe I will show you how uh, I will make some of I'm going to include some embellishments so maybe in the next video I will show you the process on me making um, the um, embellishments that are going to go in with this and maybe you know I'll probably show you what it looks like you know after it's all filled up already so anyway let us get started with that tutorial okay so this is what you guys are going to need for the basket what i did was i cut a cinch uh i'm sorry six inch circle and it's um six inches around and then i cut another one that's five inches and all I did was, um, so we need a score line around the bottom one, uh, the bottom piece, so that when uh, you know we assemble our basket, it will. Um, let me see if I can get this lighting a little bit better. I don't know what. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, so what I did was I I cut the six, uh, the five inch circle, and I did use my Cricut for this. You can use a plate or any just anything that's round, and I place the circle the fly, five inch circle on top of the six inch and then I just used my score tool the little um, what I use as a score tool and I went all the way around you know of course you put it on a flat surface you center it the best that you can and then you you press down to form that um, that score line so the next thing we do is we are going to cut slits and now this is really hard to see on camera let me see so we are going to cut slits that go we're gonna cut little V's upside down V's so you probably can't see this very well but we're gonna cut all the way to the score line 
and then we're going to cut We're gonna cut V's all the way around. And the tighter, the more V's you cut out, I think they're called darts. The, the more V's you cut out, <clears throat> excuse me, the smoother your circle will be when you do go ahead and assemble your basket. So here, I'm gonna continue to cut the V's all the way around, but I also cut this is going to be the basket that actually goes around the circle. So I cut, um, it's four and a quarter tall and I cut two of them. Just, um, I know how, what the length that I know the length that I need, but I need to, um, glue these together this way to get the full length that I need to go around the basket. So I still need to do that. And then I did cut my handle. The handle is a one and a quarter inch thick by 11 inches long. And these I did cut with 110 pound cardstock. That way, um, you know, it's nice and sturdy. So this is the uh, cover on my handle. And these are going to be for the basket. So I am uh, leaving a little bit of space on the on the top and bottom. And then I am going to take this. So essentially this is a map. So I'm going to take the printed paper and I am going to, um, you know, uh, glue this down. So for now, <clears throat> six inch circle, five inch circle, circle as a template to uh, cut your um, your score line okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut some V's and I'll be right back okay guys so all I've done is cut my little V's and I am now folding up each one of these little spikes that I've created and that is what is going to go around the the basket part of my Easter basket this is the bottom okay so you should have something that looks like that and the bottom looks um, pretty smooth um, you are gonna get some little ridges in there because we're not perfect so I took my um, my two pieces of I mean if you can get one piece one solid piece that would be awesome and you can get it actually if you go ahead and cut it out of you know the poster board you can you can get a smooth one smooth piece but anyway so i didn't i didn't cut mine out of poster board and i've glued these two together this is 14 inches long and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to lay it on the side of the table and i'm going to curve it a little bit just so that it's easier when I go ahead and uh, glue my basket together or the bottom <clears throat> excuse me guys I did use wet glue because I feel like it's uh, it gives me a little bit of time to um, you know to maneuver the paper the way it needs to be and I did not glue my uh, printed paper on there because um, I want to choose my uh, Front, my pattern for the front of the basket okay so what I am going to do is I'm going to think what do I want on the top this is going to be my top so I flip it over and this is going to be my bottom so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing each of these little tabs to the bottom of my basket and I'm going to continue so I'll do a few rounds with you and then I will, um, and I'm using wet glue. I feel like that's probably the strongest thing that I can use. So um, there's my first one. And then I'm gonna hold it for a little bit. So yes, this is gonna take a little bit of time, but the, <clears throat> excuse me, the payoff is so, so good. Okay. So, I am actually going to flip it this way, and I am going to continue 
to glue this all the way around. So I'm gonna probably do, oops, a couple at a time. I've never made one of these guys, so we are actually doing this together. <clears throat> okay. And just make sure that the bottom of your of this paper aligns with the bottom of this one and you'll have a, a basket that is nice and straight okay there we go so I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to glue these Okay guys, so it's gonna take a little bit because I am uh, holding it down until it actually adheres because I don't want it coming apart on my partner. I want her to, um, to receive a well-made swap. And I am going to continue to do that. See why we rounded the um, this piece so that it can um, it's a little easier to go ahead and start gluing all the way around. Okay, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have finished my gluing the bottom of my basket on and uh, not too bad. Uh, it came out pretty good. There was a couple of spots that, you know, actually it's not too bad. This little spot right here, I don't know if you can tell, came, you know, I didn't go all the way down to the bottom of the, um, round circle and that's not too bad guys so anyway um so you can once it's glued on you can shape and manipulate the basket as you, as you need to that's why i hadn't glued this on because i am going to this is going to make it look so much more even and you get to choose where your connection is going to be now <clears throat> i didn't like the inside that you can see the little tabs so I cut a couple of strips of paper that are half an inch thick and I'm just gonna glue that down to the sides to hide all those little tabs that I have just created and glued down so that's what I'm gonna do now just um, I'm going to put glue at the bottom and this is going to be really, really hard for you guys to see. But all I'm doing is putting glue down at the bottom and I am putting my little strip down to hide the um to hide those little tabs. And this is our glitter glue. It dries pretty quickly. So I want to make sure that I have put it down straight. So that I can continue to glue the strip down and I did cut two strips because I know it's gonna take more than one strip and guys I think I lied to you this is what I'm using for the basket I am using the um, put the glue on the strip itself I am using I think I said cardstock or 110 pound cardstock but that's not what I'm using guys I am using the poster board from um, from the Dollar Tree because it's not as thick as the poster board from let's say Hobby Lobby or Michaels they feel thinner to me therefore um, but they feel thicker than the 110 pound cardstock so that's what I'm using yes I'm going down pretty good see it's going down pretty well and it's staying down so that's how I'm hiding the uh, the tabs on the inside because I wanted to have that finished look. And I, and and here I'm just putting glue on the and this is 65 pound 
cardstock, the little strips that I cut because um, I want it to be super bendable and it doesn't need to be real thick. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do that guys and I will come back and show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Okay guys, I went ahead and um, put that little strip at the bottom to cover those tabs and that looks pretty good. And I went ahead and glued the handle on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, for this I'm going to use, um, this is my three and a half inch strip. For this I'm going to use some um, double sided tape. This is going to cover all those imperfections that are on there. or this is the front I think I'm going to choose this one and I am going to eyeball this and I'm going to put something over the top so I will I don't know if that went on nope that didn't go on straight guys So let me try that again. Let me start from this end. Hopefully that's straight. And it still went on a little crooked. But there we go. There's that part. This is my front. And I will go ahead and glue the other half or the other part to the back. Okay, guys, it is complete. And uh, those are the basics for your basket. And yeah, all you do is, oh, I needed to put my, um, I needed to put my top on there. Okay, let me do that. There you go, guys all done so i hope that you give this a try it actually is so much fun get them all filled up and looking pretty all kinds of trims and laces and i mean if you want to you can put the um you know another another circle at the bottom with the uh pattern paper what did i do with my circle i don't know what i did with my circle but uh, you can always put a circle down at the bottom and cover the bottom, but you know, again, no one's going to be looking at that. And just fill it up with your shred, your goodies, and it is good to go, guys. So, okay, so this is the basket we have just made. And I actually was going to give this to a friend of mine that loves crafts, but he's not a crafter and uh, we, we uh, are childhood friends from school and I was going to give it to him but then I got, I'm in another group where they send out Happy Mail and I thought, you know what, let me just go ahead and decorate this a little bit and send the Happy Mail in this one. So for this, you know, all I did was do a paper bow with a uh, one of those flatback pearls from, um, from Michael's and then... Um, a butterfly another one and this is from that same sticker pack that I used um, for this other one I didn't do a whole lot to this one because it you know it's gonna have a you know some some things in there and this was not required but I thought since I had already made it I would go ahead and send it so um, on hers I cut it up I cut out my information with a, a ticket die 
and you know oh you know it didn't come out too bad just because I um, I made it in a hurry and I wasn't actually going to send it out in a swap but that is what the inside looks like not bad not bad so and then this trim you know it's a baby blue I think it I I think it accents this uh, really light purple bluish color so yeah so this is what um, my uh, swap partners goodies it's is going to be in so hopefully she'll like it and guys thank you so much for uh, checking in on me and I will talk to everyone later y'all have a great day